The purpose of this video is to show how registration of FA meetings violates FA traditions uh, two and four, and you know, basically the whole concept of recovery, uh, twelve-step recovery, twelve and twelve anyway. Um, <clears throat> so to, let's take a look at what these rules are. Basically, we claim that. Uh, Food Addicts and Recovery Anonymous is based on the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions. As a matter of fact, if we go to foodaddicts.org, it will say that um, it's a basically based on 12 Step. What is FA? It's a fellowship based on the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions of Alcoholics Anonymous, but they have their own 12 Traditions. So basically, if you go, they basically replace the, the AA traditions with um, with you know FA so basically it says here for a group purpose that's us and each of the groups there's but one ultimate authority a loving God as he may express himself in our group conscience group conscience is a vote you can look that up and um, see what that is basically our leaders are but trusted servants they do not govern then tradition four is each group should be autonomous except in matters affecting other groups or FA as a whole now it's important to note that um, you know, just because it says it, we're autonomous and just because it says that the leaders don't govern doesn't mean that the leaders can't try to govern. It's kind of like somebody c can come up and ask you for $10. They might even come up and tell you, you must give me $10, but you don't have to give them $10. So what's happening is the leaders are governing not because the rules say they, they have that authority, but because the membership lets them. So the real blame is not on the person asking for the $10. The real blame is on the person that gives them the $10 thinking that they must follow that rule. The real rules are not what is actually done in FA. So let's just take a look at the word govern too before we get too far along. Basically govern means to exercise sovereignty, sovereign authority over or to rule without sovereign power. Basically, it's to, it's to rule. This one says control the speed of a machine, but the similar uh, analogy, to control, direct, or strongly influence the actions and conduct. So when it says uh, our, our leaders are uh, uh, trusted servants, they do not govern, are they controlling directly or strongly influencing our actions? You tell me. The only, they don't have the authority to do that by the traditions. They don't have the authority, but we let them do it, and that needs to stop. So uh, another thing to look at is to serve as a precedent or assigned principle uh, here, to prevail or to have decisive influence, to exercise authority, to control. And basically, the people who want to govern without having the authority, they're control freaks. And most of us are control freaks because that's why we got into food addiction, right? Which part, a lot of us anyway. We try to, uh, uh, you know, try to manage things and, and, and influence things that really are none of our business. And so the people are doing that, the people who are leading FA are doing the same thing, but it's not their fault, they're addicts. So are we, right? The problem is we're listening to them and we're actually doing what they say, that's the problem. So, <clears throat> So the, the, the term govern means to, you know, exercise authority, to, to, uh, to control or direct or strongly influence. That is happening. Now, of course, somebody could say, hey, we're not really governing. Well, if, if they're not governing, why do they have governing documents? Right? You know, it's impossible, I don't, isn't it, to say that they're not governing if they, don't have, they, don't have, if they have these governing documents. These governing documents... People follow this. You don't have to. They just do. So what happened last night at the uh, Saginaw meeting is we had a re-registration uh, vote. Um, basically, it says that um, all existing meetings will be asked to re-register periodically, and I guess our, our time came up to re-register, or maybe all the meetings are re-registering. I don't know. Anyway, we were re-registering, and of course, the whole thing's nonsense. We don't follow the traditions. We don't do almost any, almost every single statement that we make at the beginning of meetings is false when you look at that. And you can look at my other video, uh, which is uh, AWOLs Violate FA Traditions to, for more detail on that. But let's take a look at these meeting requirements. Uh, the bylaws require the FA meeting register 
Okay, who cares? The bylaws also say we observe the 12 traditions, but you know we don't do that either. In order to register a meeting, we must agree to the FA conference approved standards. Okay, well, fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You could, they can make whatever they want. Here it says, see meeting requirement details in a June 2011 entry in the FA uh, WSI continuing effect motions manual. That's interesting. Let's go to that. And uh, here's the continuing effect motions manual. And in there it says, we ought never perform any acts of government and will always remain democratic in thought and action. Hmm. Never perform any acts of government. What is an act of government? Isn't it controlling and directing and strongly influence actions? Aren't they telling us to take certain actions? They say this is their uh, guiding principles and then they immediately go in and they tell us all these actions that have to be done. It's really bizarre how they can, how they can you know, talk out of both sides of their mouth. So <clears throat> let's take a look at these meeting requirements. Um, the the, uh, the, the uh, sample meeting format talks about what uh, has to be in the FA meeting, but it also says down here. So <clears throat> here it says only, uh, you know, only those meetings to comply, blah, blah, blah. It says the primary purpose of this process is to ensure that no matter where in the world one finds an FA meeting, one can readily recognize and find FA recovery in that room. So the, the primary purpose of this process has nothing to do with the primary purpose of the organization. No other organization has this. I challenge anyone to find another 12-step fellowship that dictates the terms like this. Everyone else says, have whatever format you want, right? And anybody knows they're in an AA meeting, but it might be an open talk. It might be a 12 steps, 12 traditions meeting. It might be a closed meeting. It might be... You know, any number of meetings, they know it's AA, right? But uh, this is basically to make, make it like McDonald's, to try to, to standardize. But standardization is exactly the opposite of what is supposed to happen. Let's go to look, take a look at the AA registration. Like if you go and say AA register a meeting, here's F30 AA Alcoholics Anonymous new group form. Take a look at this. The AA new group form says... Um, Any, what does it say? Any two or three alcoholics gathered together may call themselves an AA group. Any two or three alcoholics, you don't need to register, you don't need anything. You can call yourself an AA group as long as there's no other affiliation. And um, uh, the other thing is AA, it says here, our membership ought to include all who suffer, hence we may refuse none who wish to recover. We may refuse none. Nor ought AA membership ever depend on money or conformity. This is a group that really follows traditions two and four. This is an example of correct uh, fellowship. Th th that's probably why the AA fellowship is so much stronger than FA, is because they have honest, they actually follow their traditions. They say what they, they believe and they actually live by it. So... Um, so let's go back to this, this uh, thing here. So here it says, as a group, this is, this is what they make you re-register. So you're going to re-register all this stuff. It says, as a group, the members meet to practice the 12 steps and 12 traditions of FA. That's what they say. But if you go to the meeting format and you go to, uh, a, let's say, a big book meeting, we'll go here and we'll go down to this meeting format, big book meeting. It gives you back here. Sorry, it's taking so long. But basically, you have um, qualification meeting, sharing meeting, Alcoholics Big Book meeting. It says, when choosing a selection, please avoid pages 64 through 103. You know what those pages are? Steps 4 through 12. So it says here, as a group, the members meet to practice the 12 steps and 12 traditions. Well, we only practice three of them. So why don't we say three out of the 12 steps into it? It's just not, the, the actual meeting format they give you is not what this says. Number one, here it says, all who have a desire to stop abusing themselves with food are welcome. Okay, that one seems probably true. Uh, the meeting format must 
I mean, I mean, I will say the word welcome, how welcoming is it if you tell the people, hey, welcome to our group, here's a, ask for a donation basket, and by the way, you can't speak because you don't have 90 days. And you also don't have a, vo a vote. So you, gotta, you have to pay. We're asking you to pay, but uh, we, we're not going to let you vote. So <clears throat> here it says, the meeting format must contain the following, 12 steps and 12 traditions of FA, which if you look at my other video, we do not follow. The definition of abstinence. If you read the definition of abstinence, uh, that is a good definition, actually. Um, uh, uh, it, it's, it's effective. But it says the definition of a food addict, if you look carefully here, the definition of food addict never defines what a food addict is. It only defines what food addiction is, the disease of the mind. So presumably, a food addict is a person who has this disease. And then it also says the pro how the problem can be arrested, but, but the pro how, how the problem is solved has nothing to do with the definition of a food addict, right? I mean, the, 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 the definition of a food addict is a person has lost control over their eating. It's in the big book, the AA big book, but we really, uh, you know, that's not really a, a complaint of dishonesty. This is just a matter of error. You know, it, it's, it's, this should say definition of food addiction, but it doesn't define what a food addict is. The requirement that members of a fellowship with 90 days or more continuous absence were be invited to share. Only members with this would be invited to share. That right there, I mean, all of these, all of these are rules. All of these things that they're asking us to do are, are basically governing things. They're controlling, directing, or strongly influencing the actions and conduct of um, the members. And we, my friends, are falling for it. We do not have to do any of this stuff. Nothing stops those people from re preventing us from, from uh, being on their website. But we can create a new website, right? We don't need these people. We don't need Food Addicts and Recovery Anonymous. We don't need the WSI. Don't need any of these continuing effect motions. I started my own meeting and uh, we just, you know, it's a, it's a roundtable discussion, 90-day meeting. Anybody can be there. I don't, I don't conform with all this. I don't ask them to put me on the website. I don't care about the website, right? I'm there to help people. The, the real problem is, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll say this here because I think it's really important, is FA in its current form is a human-powered program. Most people are trying to uh, use the tools. The tools are human problem things. They're not spiritual for the most part. There's a couple of them. But praying and uh, trusting and um, not trying to govern, letting, letting go. I was just actually having a conversation about this this morning. Uh, we pray every day in our 12-step in our prayer um, uh, or in our, in our serenity prayer, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change uh, and the, the courage to change the things I can, the wisdom to know the difference. So, but the problem is like when we first come in, we can't change our eating, uh, but we cannot accept it either. So what happens if you can neither accept something or change it? It doesn't even matter if you have the courage. You simply can't change it or accept it both. What else can you do? but leave it in God's hands. We can try all of these human-powered tactics all we want. We might be able to condition ourselves. Certainly the tools help, but ultimately it's God that takes care of things. So, um, uh, but AA uh, is a God-powered program. It's a God-powered program and a God-powered fellowship. How come AA does not require all this stuff? How come AA lets anybody, anybody uh, join, create a group? You can start a group right now. Anybody, not even an alcoholic, even a non-alcoholic can start a group. AA will still send you the kit. Right? They're not there to, they know that the real enemy is alcoholism. <laughs> You know, and so they're not worried. No one's going to create an AA group unless they have a, have a problem. No one's going to attack AA as long as AA is trying to do their best. You know, maybe they will attack it for a while, but then they'll go away. 
But FA, no, no, FA, they want to govern. FA, they, you know, and that's what draw. That's why the fellowship's deteriorating. But basically, um, we need to move as FA. We need we need to create a real FA, and we need to do to really, you know, focus on unity. We even we need to include our brothers and sisters and other other food related fellowships because all of these splintering of fellowships is a nonsense. We're all in this boat together. We all have the same basic problem. We shouldn't be. We shouldn't be. Uh, changing every the solution for every little detail, and we certainly should not have a central governing authority dictating standardization of it. That is basically Weight Watchers. That's basically institutionalization of a solution. You know, uh, that's not you know that's not at all. The solution should be, you know, the solution is the twelve steps. The solution is not the tools. I don't know why people don't understand that. It's a 12-step program. It's a 12-step and 12-tradition program. It's not a tools program. The tools are just tools, you know. We're here to fix the car. We're not here to use a wrench. So we need to focus on God power. We need to let God run things and not try to control things. Oh, by the way, you know what? We don't need to worry about our leaders. They don't have a strong grasp of the traditions. That's not their fault. It might be. It might be some of them are constitutionally incapable of being honest with themselves. Maybe they can't read and understand the traditions, or they just don't want to read and understand them because they can't. You know, they just don't have the. You're not constitutionally set up in order to be to to face the the ugly truth that you know dictating how meetings are run is governing. They might not be able to. They might not be able to understand that. But some of them, I think, can. I think a lot of them are actually, um, they, they want to, the truth to, to come out, but they don't, want to they don't want to make waves. They don't want to ruffle feathers because they know that their own recovery depends on it, you know? And, and so they're afraid of, of, of making waves. Uh, here's an interesting thing here. I, I sent a, I sent a, uh, a letter to, um, to the Traditions Committee, and I said, hey, listen, you know, we're not, Basically, here I'll show you what the original letter said. It said basically, I do regret you. Oh, sorry, this is where is it? Um, it says basically, we need to change the wording of the traditions to actually f do what they say, or we need to stop advertising AWOLs because you know the, the first tradition says unity. There should only be one um, fellowship, but we have two different groups. We have AWOLs and FA. They're separated, so we've violated the unity. Uh, tradition among other traditions, but I was just going into this one, and uh, <clears throat> and we should either be honest about the tradition, or we should stop advertising the AWOLs. In other words, live by the tradition, or just merge the two groups or something. And so, um, you know, I, I wrote them a letter. So this is what they, you know, it doesn't really say how they can justify this. So it says here it says um, AWOL meetings uh, must be acknowledged and supported for FA to survive. Not true, and AWOL is a comprehensive method of studying the steps. Of course, it's not an outside, so AWOL is not an outside organization or enterprise. It's a method of studying the steps. Anyone who wrote such a sentence can't possibly understand the concept of an outside enterprise. That the AWOLs have, have a whole set of rules and they collect money. And then the FA groups have another whole set of rules different from AWOLs and they collect money. I mean, don't enterprises have sets of rules and collect money? I mean, how they can say an AWOL is not an outside organization or enterprise is beyond my comprehension. If an AWOL is not an outside enterprise, then neither is um, Alcoholics Anonymous. So why don't we announce AA meetings in our, in our uh, thing, right? Oh, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Overeaters Anonymous. They're not an outside enterprise. Why don't, you know, why don't we just include them? In our, you, you can't do that. You can't announce some other group. Otherwise, you're lending the FA name. Anyway, so um, so basically, the, the the people who are in in the in the position of authority in this traditions committee don't have a clue. They they uh, they don't understand the traditions, and so you know. But there's nothing you know. There's not. That's not necessarily horrible thing. We don't need to worry about our leaders. We can do whatever we want. 
We can start our own meetings. We can have phone meetings. We can, we can call them FA meetings. If they ever did bring a legal action, you could say, great, take a look at Traditions 2 and Traditions 4. You know, take a look at every other 12-step program on the planet. You know, who's the one who's wrong here? It's not, it's not us. It's not the people that, that follow God's will versus man's will. And that's what I really want to leave you folks with is go ahead and start your own meetings. Do what you want to do. Um, let's take a look at it is, A lot of times they'll go and they'll talk about the 12 concepts. So here's the 12 concepts. Here's the concept. This is the AA uh, concept. The Charter and Bylaws of the General Service Board are legal instruments, empowering the trustees to manage and conduct world services. Money has to be spent in order to buy, to create big books and do all this other stuff. There, there's certainly a need for a legal entity. Um, you know, what happens if we hire a publisher and they don't deliver us the books? We have to be able to sue them. I don't, although I don't think they have had any lawsuits, but maybe they have. Anyway, the con but it says here, the conference charter is not a legal, legal document. It relies upon tradition and the AA purse for final effectiveness. So in other words, don't give money to these people, right? Follow the traditions, and that will affect the conference charter if you want to. Or simply ignore it. It's not a legal document. Simply ignore it and do what you think is right. Now, but if you take a look at the FA uh, concepts, they have a similar one. The seven, they're not the same number, so don't worry about that. So seven, eight, the bylaws of FA are a legal instrument empowering trustees. The conference itself is not a legal entity. It's not a legal entity. Now, it says here, it relies on tradition... Um, it doesn't talk about the purse, but it says its practical power will nearly always be superior to the legal power of the trustees. Power is very important to the people in this conference, very important. But they're not supposed to have power. See, so says the trustees are the principal planners and administrators, dare I say governors, of overall policy and finance. They want to govern, my friends. They want to govern. They're not following the traditions. You know, they're just not, um, the 12 traditions say they do not govern. So I hope that's helpful for you. Um, I, you know, you can, when they, when they give you this re-registration nonsense, um, what I did is I voted in favor of it. But I, but I, uh, I stated my piece to the, uh, the group saying we are violating everything. Every one of these points we're violating. We're, we've got dishonesty pouring out of the, uh, the, the standard um, junk that we read at the beginning of meetings. We should either change what we read to say that we, you know, unity is, um, you know, FA unity is uh, necessary for individual recovery except for AWOLs. You know, we should, we should change the, the wording of the traditions or else we should actually follow the traditions. <gasps> oh my gosh, what an idea that would be is to actually follow them the way they're written. I would suggest that you go to the meetings, you know, vote for this thing however you want to vote for it. Who cares? It's not important. Um, but, uh, but, you know, in your own meetings, create your own meetings. Don't worry about registering them with anybody. Do whatever you want to do. You know, go to the meetings that, that, that uh, dis that uh, do not follow the 12 step in 12 traditions and go to the meetings that do create your own that do you know this is this is what it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter what the central authority says they're the same as the wizard of oz they have no real power unless we give it to them so I urge you to, to use the meetings for what they you know what you can get out of them. Create your own real FA meetings that actually follow the traditions, and don't worry about registering it. Let God take care of it. Don't worry about human power. I mean that's what I'm doing. You guys do whatever you want to do, but that's how I'm dealing with this because I tell you what, it's frustrating if you try to actually talk to these people and try to make changes internally. <laughs>